hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to delete records through a checkbox control from a grid view I'm using ASP.NET C Sharp coding ASPX page I have a grid view control with some bound fields ID employee name and occupation with some header tags and the code behind and the code behind I just binded the data from a remote database with the table name EMP with the grid view control let's check the output how it looks on the designing build the solution click run and here is a grid view with some binded data which I have showed the coding now in this video I will show you I'll add a checkbox control in this grid view and one button control to delete the selected rows before start the coding part let's log into my godaddy database account we'll check the table and the column values i'm signed into my godaddy account after i log into my little admin for sql server i'm expanding the user databases expanding the tables also tables for this example i have chosen employee table let's open the table and this is a table we just binded the grid view control right now we have 44 records let's write the code to delete the records let's switch back to the designing part in the search code after the columns I'm adding the checkbox control for that I have to import the ASP template field in the template field add the item field item template sorry here the checkbox control ASP checkbox ID check select run at server after adding the checkbox we need the button control also so I'm writing after the horizontal line hit the button control and the text I'm writing delete the selected records the button one ID button delete let's build a solution and we'll check the output on the browser how it looks the designing part I'm refreshing the browser and here is the output check boxes and the button control let's go to the coding part now we need a button click event to delete the record go to designing part double click the button and here is a button click event for each grid view row gv row in the employee details source one the app grid view control id dot rows property checkbox chkd let you delete is equals to checkbox gv row dot find control and which control we have to add chk select checkbox control paste here if check delete dot check in this if condition I want to get the particular employee ID so int emp ID is equals to convert to int 32 
employee details dot data keys data keys in the square brackets the gv role dot row index dot value after getting the particular IDs now I need to connect the database connection string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings this is my connection string name connection string SQL connection SQL con is equal to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of the main connection this one paste here SQL con dot open the connection string SQL command SQL com is equal to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query which is the delete the record delete from dbo.emp where id is equals to plus which id this employee id particular employee id and SQL connection C1 and connection SQL com dot execute non query now let's close the connection string connection dot close method after that we need to bind this to display the records after deleting the records let's build the solution now let's check the output if the selected checkbox record is deleted or not I'm reloading the browser now we'll delete the record the 44th one Joe and here in the database the Joe record 44th ID is available let's select the Joe go to the top and delete the selected records come to the bottom you see the Joe record has gone and now we'll go back to the database again we'll check the Joe record is available or not here is a Joe I'm refreshing the table second page see the Joe has been deleted but when we are deleting the selected checkbox record in a grid view we have not got any kind of message let's flip back to the source code we'll add some JavaScript to confirmation before deleting the records from a table in the about do tag script type text slash javascript create a function message delete variable grid view is equals to document dot get element by id between the double quotes And the element is the grid view ID control dot client ID variable employee list G view dot get element by tag name is the input variable employee check 
is equal to 0 for variable i is equal to 0 i is less than equals to the collection of employee list which is the the selected checkboxes dot length then gth length colon i plus plus if employee list i dot type double equals to checkbox and employee list i dot check employee check is equals to employee check plus one close the brackets alert box you have selected plus employee check rows to delete variable result result is equals to confirm box method press okay to delete users permanently backward slash n is a new line press cancel button and delete the records if RS return true else return false. Now we just finished the JavaScript, but we need to add this function on the button control. Here on client click JavaScript call and return this method. Let's build the solution and we'll check the it's failed with line number 10. Uh, here after the percentage is equals to let's build the solution build succeeded let's check the final output on the browser now i'm refresh the browser i'm trying to delete five six seven records so i have chosen three check boxes and i try to delete selected records you have selected three rows to delete see here the three rows okay press ok to delete the users permanently press cancel to undelete the records I am cancelling at this moment let's check in the employee table I am refresh the table see the Ganesh Ravi Kumar Kiran still present in the table let's delete Ganesh Ravi Kumar and Kiran I am deleting the records selected three rows to delete this time i'm choosing okay see here the records are deleted let's find out in the table also i'm refreshing the table see here 
the records has been deleted that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos